Okay, well, welcome back to the old plastic car channel and uh, today the plan with the Morris 8 is to try and get it running and fuel in the tank. Uh, if you caught the previous video you'll know that I managed to get the engine running using a temporary a funnel, temporary fuel supply. And the idea is if I get it running from the tank I can then see if the car will actually drive and test the gears, clutch and so on. Uh, so yeah, the schedule is drain the old fuel out of the tank, blow the line through, get the electric pump working, put some fresh fuel in, hopefully start it up again and then uh, test the gears and just see if there's any signs of life in the uh, transmission department. So, uh, yeah, please keep watching and uh, let's see how we get on. Right, whereas Austin, etc., often used to use AC mechanical fuel pumps back in the 30s on their small cars, Morris went one better and used electric pumps such as this one here. This is still 6 volt and this is a 6 volt electric pump. Um, which is great when they're working, but if the car's been sat for any length of time, more often than not, you'd have to at least give this a good tap just to sort of bring it back to life. Anyone who's had a Morris Minor uh, of the 50s or 60s will know exactly what I'm on about. And even though this is a fairly fresh looking pump, because it's been sat for a while, these points here, because these, I don't know if you can see that, these flick and operate this, and that does the, operates the pump. And when these contacts here fur up, the pump stops working. Uh, I know you can buy retro looking pumps that look the same but with all modern doodars inside uh, to get around the points issue. But this is an, an oldish style pump still with the points. And because of that, and because the car's been sat a while, they ain't doing anything. I know there's a feed to it, I've checked that, there's a 6 volt feed coming in here on this wire. Um, so I just need to get some very fine emery and give this a clean here. And hopefully the pump will come back to life. So I'll go and find some emery and give that a go and see what happens. Well, that's the points in there cleaned up. I took the, uh, this part off and clean those up. They're better. Not sure if I can focus on that. At least they've come up a lot better. They were all pitted and black. So I didn't fancy their chances of working very well. Uh, the thing is, will it actually work now? That's a big question, because uh, yeah, these pumps weren't great. It looks like even the, the modern ones aren't much copper either. Okay, that's the points back in. Ignition's back on. Oh, there we go. A working fuel pump once more. The next thing to do will be check out the main fuel line from the tank up to the front here. Just make sure there's no blockages. And then I think after that we'll jack the back end up, have a look, see if there's any old fuel that needs draining out of the tank and see, just see how good or bad the tank is and then take it from there really once we've had a look. Okay, well I have to apologise for the noise, the doors are banging and the rain's coming down but hopefully you can hear me. So we've drained off the fuel from the tank, it was all fairly smelly and horrible so that's okay and I've cleaned the little gauze filter that sort of sits just below the pickup pipe which is revealed when you drop the, uh, the drain plug off so that should be alright and I got a, my airline out and blew through from the front to the back so the pipe is clear the pump is now working so that when you turn the ignition on it chunners into life and this is now plumbed in with the right hosing and some better clips, some proper sort of jubilee type clips because uh, previously it was some horrible crimped on things uh, hopefully the jubilee clips will sort of tone down a little bit, they're a little bit shiny for the rest of it but not to worry so I think the next thing to do is put some fuel in the tank then I can check to see if I've tightened up the drain plug sufficiently and then see if it'll actually pump up because it's one thing the pump making a noise but it's another thing whether it'll actually pump or not so uh, let's go and give that a go. Yeah, let's put a drop of fresh fuel in and just see if it'll stay in and hopefully it doesn't leak past the drain plug. Yeah, it's pretty wild out there. Just nip up the connections. Okay. 
when I was tightening up the brass union on there this was the original and it split on me split right down there so fortunately I had a spare one in stock but it's always a bit disappointing when something like that happens so uh, I'd cleaned it up as well so a little bit of a shame but not to worry so I think everything's tightened up and good to go so next thing connect the battery pop the ignition on and I've listened to the pump and just see if it actually draws anything up from the tank because I should have put sufficient amount of fuel in there to test it and then uh, and the proof as they say is in the pudding so let's give it a whirl battery on pumps trunnering away is it going to pull anything up making a few different noises but eventually you want to hear it slow right down and sort of do 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 and then it should be filling up the float chamber now slowing down well, that sounds encouraging so, so blowing through the line probably helped so I think we can go and have a go see if it'll actually start now running on fuel that it's got on board properly let's give it a go a little click there not started for about five days uh, last time it was on the the funnel of temporary the temporary fuel feed so that's now running from fuel in the tank which is quite encouraging Need to speed it up a little encouraging huh? let's have a look see if there's any leaks anywhere we'll check the fuel into the pump it's looking okay the outlets from the pump down into the float chamber that I had a part in the previous episode so that's all looking fairly healthy just going to have a look at the back again just to make sure there's no leakage oil pressure I think should be alright The ammeter's doing something as well, which is quite encouraging. Nothing from the fuel gauge yet. That's not bad, considering the oil's old as well, the oil pressure is pretty good. I'm told it should be around the 60. That's okay. Let's go and have a look, see if there's any leakage at the back. Oh, it's a bit smelly back here. Yeah. 
That's dry, nothing leaking. I think we'll put the choke in a bit now. Sounding alright. It's a pretty sweet sounding engine if I'm honest. A bit of moisture burning off the manifold, I think. I think the next thing to do, if the weather's alright, is to move the dodge out and try the gears, see if anything works. Well, as this video is all about whether the Morris 8 will drive, just while I'm waiting for the weather to improve, I've got a request. Now, of various parts came with the car when I bought it, including this diff, which either looks to be reconditioned or like a new old stock differential. But my question is, is this for the Morris 8 Series 1? Or is it for another Morris or a different car altogether? I'm hoping that someone who watches this will be able to let me know, because uh, it'd be handy to know. It still turns, just about. It's a bit difficult to do it one-handed, but it's still, still free. But really, I'm just wondering if anyone can identify this positively as for a Morris 8 Series 1. Uh, whether the previous owner had a problem with the diff that's in the car, and he bought this to fit but never did, I'm not sure. Or perhaps he just came across it and thought that would be a handy thing to have on the shelf. And uh, maybe there isn't a problem with the diff that's in the car. So uh, I really don't know until I drive it. And uh, really, I need to get it in all the gears and up to speed and fully warm through. Um, until then, I won't really know if there is a problem with the diff that's in the car. So I'm hoping that this is just a spare bought as and when it turned up. But, of course, the other option is that it may actually need this fitting. So, but for now, if anyone could just confirm that this is Morris 8, that would be very handy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. First off, I need to move this outside and then, then give the Morris a go. because it's looking a little soft and an appropriate pump. Right, Let's see if we've got any signs of life. Yeah. 
turn that to the right for that that puts the ignition on so I turn that okay that's it all right now pull the starter we're in neutral aren't we just yeah. check yeah okay so pull the starter and then do I turn it no you can leave that just pull the starter okay just give it a little bit of throttle that's it okay so first gear is down and down that's reverse so you only need first yeah now remember okay okay back into neutral neutral <coughs> Up. clutch so down clutch down it. that's it it's so weird having it right. back i'm so used to it <laughs> All right, okay, so start up again. All right, so it's down, it's left and down. Yeah, now, gently with the clutch, because it's a bit sharp. Okay. Sharper than the, the eight. Oh, it's sharp. Oh. Okay, so what back to I neutral do? again. Back to neutral again. What did I do? Just stalled it. Oh. So should I give it a little bit of A little bit of throttle. All right, just a little bit. And then when it starts moving, just hold your clutch. Hold the clutch, that's it. All right, that's it. Now we're moving. Come off the clutch now. Oh, wow. Right. Okay. Now, when we want to stop, because there's no brakes. Yeah. Okay. So go. That's it. Go on the clutch now. That's it. And then you can put it into neutral. Okay. Now put your foot on the clutch again, and then you can go into reverse, which is up where first would normally be. And again, it's really gentle, and really slow, because we can't see very much out the back. Clutch down into neutral. There you go. Yeah, well, she's outside. And she appears to move. The clutch is a little, the biting point's a little bit lower than I'd like, but that's not really an issue at the moment. There's the old Morris old air can that I put on it recently. So I thought she can just cool off a little bit after a few little test runs back and forward up the drive. But the basics seem to work. And uh, in answer to the question, will it drive? Well, I think it will drive. There's obviously a long way to go before it'll be a reliable runner. <laughs> but the signs are pretty encouraging, I think. So that's quite a result. I'm quite pleased about that. So I'll just let things cool down and then uh, we'll give it another little go. Just a few short runs. It does need an oil change. There's a little bit of smoke out the back, so it probably wants fresh oil and there could be some gummed up rings in there as well so it might take a little while to settle down but i think she should be okay she sounds quiet if it continues smoking once it's had fresh oil and lots of runs then maybe there might be some rings that need doing but at the moment i don't think we'll lose too much sleep about it Right, okay, so, ignition, that's it, bit of start, we're in neutral aren't we, yeah, we're in neutral, yeah, okay. right, so like I say, gently, gently on the clutch when you bring it up, okay, into neutral, just a little bit of throttle, so okay, just a tiny little bit of throttle, It. Just put the clutch down a bit then. That's it. That's it. So that's reverse. Yeah, just go back a bit. Left hand down a little bit. That's it. Try going back a little bit. Yeah. Like I say, just a little bit of throttle, and then left hand down a bit. There's wheel spin going on here. Okay. That's it. It's all good fun. 
Tell me it's not fun. Yeah. Might be getting out of fuel soon, but keep going. Just give it a little bit of gas when you do it. Okay. That's it. Into neutral, switch her off, give her a little rest. Well done, nice job. <laughs> All good fun. Practice. Just want to see what he's up to. So what are you doing? Huh? Is it coming up alright? Yeah. Well, that's come up pretty well, isn't it? Considering. This is what they were like, wasn't it? So they're looking pretty manky to begin with, but they are doing a cracking job there. So what model are they? Does it say? FT slash LR14, whatever that means. Uh, probably 1960s, I would have thought. Oh, good job. Keep up the good work. Oh, oh your latest, your latest little gem. So what is it? Blue, Blue coal. coal. What's that? Antifreeze? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Poor. Where, where'd you find that? Calvary this morning. <laughs> very nice. And did you beat me to it? Yeah. Mm, yes. Just like with that Duckham's can. Yes, that's very annoying.